Hello and welcome to another LEGO Bully Review. This is Shing Yuan's The Simpsons. We did the JLP Simpsons and they're also a piece of crap. So, uh, what's the Shing Yuan ones like though? Let's have a look. Uh, you got Bart, Homer, Marge, and um, <clears throat> Lisa. People can only tell that the accessories are weird from the box art alone. And we have um, Maggie, Nelson, Melhouse, and Flanders. Of course, the other one only had six ones, so the new ones here are these two. So, quick look on the side of all the boxes, showcasing the well, image of the set. Oh, turn it around. And just a different image of the set. On the top, you got a um, yellowy image of just the figure, because some people just care about the figure and not the other stuff inside there. And uh, usually showing you all the backs are the same, but this time it's not because the back is the assembly guide. So you got Bart there, Homer, Maggie, Millhouse, Flanders. I'm I'm sorry, stupid Flanders. Marge, Nelson, and Lisa. If you want to take a closer look at the box art and uh, photo shoot of the figures, please feel free to head over to the face well, Flickr link in the description below. Um, let's let's go with uh, Millhouse first. Okay, so uh, Millhouse actually comes with a desk with uh, Lisa's table. Um, this is from the uh, Lego House set. So you got all these drawers popping out. This is you know, Lisa's desk inside her room with the A plus exam. Paper, so that's cool. I guess you get like a spare piece if you need it. But uh, why does it come with Millhouse? I have no idea. It doesn't make sense unless he stole it. <gasps> First problem here. Um, yeah, they're not using the Shingyuan moving legs, which is a disappointment because the Shingyuan actually adapted these. Uh, they had the Penguin and Robin with short legs, and they could move. And uh, we've seen the Lord of the Rings set of the Hobbits also have moving legs, but here they don't. They have the usual standard Lego legs. They're not even printed. Uh, the shoulders don't have sleeves, which makes them all look like they're from the He-Man universe. Um, Millhouse's chest torso print is actually of uh, Ralph Wiggums, so that's a wrong design, uh, and there's no back print. Uh, the head sculpt is copied pretty well. But the paint seems off, it's like they just couldn't quite spray paint correctly all the little edges. See the blue doesn't quite reach, and the white feels a bit smudged, like they didn't wait for the red of the glasses to dry before printing the white there. So it all looks a bit off, and the uh, face coloring just looks kind of weird. So all in all, it's just a bit fuzzy, I think is, is, a, is a word to describe it. Next we have Ned Flanders and a sort of table thing which is not from many Simpsons sets as far as I'm concerned. You've got a croissant, chicken leg just hang on the side because you hang two and just a pan. So it's like a, it is a cooking thing so it doesn't make sense what he's wearing. And now he is wearing his same clothing from the big house set again and not uh, his standard clothes from the uh, minifigure packs. And uh, his uh, facial expression is... Well, it's all Flanders have the same facial expression, which is kind of annoying on Lego's part. Anyway, a uh, hail to the chef, and uh, the print here is a direct copy of the actual thing. Um, no back print. Head here is okay, but the eyes look weird. Uh, and the official one, I'm pretty sure the, the plastic carries on. It just looks really odd here, and the paint isn't too good. Looks very bootleggy, uh, ironically, because um, the Shingon has looked quite good overall. But at least he has green sleeves, so that's, that's good. From the front he looks pretty good, but you might want to add an extra bit of white paint on these areas to make it look better. Yeah, looking from the side, it looks really weird. Next we have uh, Nelson, who comes with a mini, mini couch. Really mini couch. Uh, two uh, police, like, batons beat up nerds and a football because he's a footballer but on the plus side you need footballs and yay but we have leftover footballs from the uh, football figures that they made anyway here he is uh, the color of his torso is slightly off and again he's become he-man but it makes more sense for him because his clothes are ripped anyway but uh, yeah just slightly off and again the head print is really weird he doesn't he looks like he's missing eyebrows uh, I mean I know that's how the actual thing looks but um 
Looks fade off, just not enough paint for his hair. Um, just kind of crappy. Gonna have to, this looks like he's just been through a nuclear blast and he's losing his hair. Next we have Bart. He is. Uh, he has the skateboard, which is a good representation of his skateboard. And mini traffic lights, because he needs it. So that that's good. He also comes with a camera for some reason. And uh, yeah, Lisa has the camera stuff in the house, I think. Um, yeah, blank expression, but his eyes are slightly off center of the pupil, so he's looking slightly to his right. Someone has spotted me. Dun, dun. Um, he has no torso print whatsoever, but the original one different. But again, he's become like He-Man and no leg prints, which is really annoying. He does have a backpack, but on the back he does not have the slingshot printed to the back of his legs and torso, so he's missing a bit of print there. Head sculpt's fine, uh, but again, it just the paint's slightly off on the head. Uh, let's go with Marge. Oh, oh, oh. So Marge comes with a little piece of grass with a flower and a cup. It's supposed to be a martini because you put this bit in there, it just sort of floats in there. Spare piece of flower. Stick that back there. Uh, she also has like a deck chair, which is a copy from the deck chairs in that, like the Lego official Lego house does have deck chairs like this. So it has two, so that's something good I guess from, for the house. And here's Marge. Um, she has face print of the minifigure series. Now, all of these characters are both in the house and the minifigure series have the heads of the minifigure series but the torso prints of the house if that makes sense but unfortunately her apron is not printed here and uh, so it's just green so it doesn't match her torso which is which just doesn't match so it's annoying no back print again of course uh, she's from He-Man as well but the upside is it's very interesting uh, you can remove her hairpiece so she's almost eating her brains uh, but yeah, they made it into separate pieces, which is cool. Uh, I can't remember, what was that one episode where Marge just shaved her hair off and she starts crying? Um, but she looks kind of adorable in the cartoon, like, haha, she looks really weird. Um, but yeah, so you can definitely do that. And I, I, that's a, this is a nice touch that you can do that. It's fun, but uh, there's absolutely nowhere where you can fit. I can't think of anywhere where you can actually fit this hair piece, but you can take it off of her. And that's fun, I guess. Other than that, pretty standard head looks like Marge nothing too special um, just needs sleeves next we have Maggie uh, she has a baby chair again from the house let's take that there uh, she has for some reason it's kind of hard to pick it up she has some starfish and hearts so you got some hearts these are from like the girly lego set so you can make your little uh, bracelet so you got like bracelet pieces and um, fish from uh, uh, the little mermaid I don't Ugh. yeah I'm not really sure she's holding I mean in the house uh, she's holding like a little uh, nail gun <laughs> which is funny but she has the weird expression of the minifigure series the blue ribbon on her hair is not printed in the correct color slightly darker uh, her sucker's okay and her eyes are okay and yeah sad that she doesn't have uh, moving legs but uh, they've used normal Lego short legs so if you if you want normal Lego short legs in this color this is where you're gonna go instead of the single body piece of the official Lego uh, Maggie next we have Lisa she's pretty accurate um, she looks pretty good but she comes with a guitar and not, um, again, these are all things from uh, like Friends series because uh, well, she has this, which makes sense for her to have musical note sheet. She has a microphone and an electric guitar, which doesn't make any sense. No back print, of course, but her overall head sculpt's really nice. Uh, she has a, a little pink radio, like karaoke thing, which looks decent, but again, it's not hers. Like not from her set, and a little, uh, I guess it's a scroll, no, some sort of little bear thing, skunk, no it's not skunk, yeah it'd be a scroll, so yeah definitely from the Friends series, so that can go back here, and finally we have Homer J Simpson, they have the actual mailbox from the house, with two letters, that's good, and uh, Homer, He-Man Homer, Homer Smash. 
briefcase, no back print. Hair is printed on the top and the back, so oh wow, back head print. <laughs> First pushing on. I know all the ones have painted hair, but this is like a special exception, I think. So yeah, uh, his head is pretty good, a few marks here and there, and print is decent on his head as well. So, uh, yeah, is the set any good? Well, it's really hard to recommend. If you really want the, some of the torso prints from the big house set that's really expensive, then yay for you. Uh, for the rest of us, I don't think this is a good set. After all, uh, Simpsons minifigure sets aren't that expensive in comparison. Uh, this isn't like a Star Wars or DC Superheroes character where you you know you have to pay like two hundred dollars for one. You, you know these are thirty dollars each. I mean, I mean, okay. I mean, it's st these are still way cheaper um, than the official ones, but they're not. The, the the difference between these and the official ones is nowhere near as a good deal as it is with um, you know DC or Star Wars characters. Um, I mean, the quality here is definitely way better than JLB. I mean, JLB was way off the limits and that was just crap, whereas these ones, then they're not bad. But um, again, missing sleeves, wrong prints, and uh, just a weird amount of accessories makes them interesting, but not good for someone who wants a replacement or someone to, something to get because you can't afford the official thing um, or don't have the room for the house and just want the minifigures. So overall, I, I can't really recommend these, but they're not crap. If you can pick these up for a cheaper price, then by all means go ahead. If you want to spend a little bit of time of repainting the eyes a little bit maybe, some of the heads, then by all means also go ahead. But aside from that, this isn't really a set that's bad or good, it's just in the middle. It's just, ugh. Uh, I mean, the accessories aren't even that interesting, they're just weird. I mean, they're interesting in that they're weird, but they're not good to use. Like. It's not something, why, why are we on a mini couch that you can't use? Or just, I mean, I mean the desk is okay, but the accessories just kind of odd and off. Um, can't, I, I can't recommend this set. You know, just save a bit more money, get the official minifigures pack. Um, yeah. <laughs> also, interesting note on the March box, if you noticed know earlier, uh, the cover art had her without the, uh, the bottom half of the dress, so she was just outside in her panties with the uh, nuclear power plant behind her. Some of these box arts are quite interesting. Maybe some of them... No, no, just, just hers is interesting. Just sitting under the sun in front of some nuclear power and just drinking a martini without her dress in her panties. They're white. Subscribe, suggest and comment below. And uh, take care and have a nice day. Bye.